I've just returned from Cambridge in New Zealand, where, as people will now know, Roaring Lion has undergone not one but two life-saving operations, having suffered from a very severe case of colic. During his first operation, they discovered that his small intestine had managed to slip through a split in the mesentery, which is the apron on which the small intestine hangs, and basically formed a knot on the far side. Um, they got him into surgery with probably minutes to spare. Uh, the horse was in absolute agony and had hurled himself down on the concrete outside in the yard. Um, and it was only by the very rapid response of both the Cambridge Stud Team and Cambridge Equine um, Hospital that this, is, this was able to happen. The first operation, Dr. Alana Zanting and Dr. Greg Quing managed to rectify the basically untie what was described as a fishing knot of his small intestine and make sure that the the gut wall was working and as far as they could see it was fine there was a bit of bruising but that was that was fine and they got him back on his feet there was uh, a very optimistic moment uh, and we had a, a proper can even describe it as a roller coaster ride where the horse looked to be getting much better and Rob Hitchcock, who is the stud vet, uh, was there with the team monitoring the horse the whole way through. Sadly, after about three or four days, just when we thought the horse was making massive progress, he colicked again. And it was decided that the only course of action to give him any chance of survival was to operate immediately. Um, and both uh, Dr. Alana and Dr. Greg came back in and I witnessed the operation from start to finish nearly two and a half hours of very intense work whereby they had to resect 14 feet, that's about 25% of his small intestine. That means they had to remove 25% of his small intestine and join it up again. The chances of a horse surviving one colic operation is, is, is difficult, slim. The chance of op surviving two operations where a large section of intestine is resected are, are, are very slim indeed. But it's a testament to the horse's courage and the care that he was given. And I'm pleased to say that uh, yesterday he returned to Cambridge Stud and um, where he will continue his recuperation um, under Rob's care along with uh, Henry Plumtree uh, and Marcus and all the team uh, at Cambridge Stud who have become so clearly fond of this horse and are, are putting in a, a superhuman effort to make sure that he comes out the other side. When we don't know for certain whether the, whether Roaring Lion will survive this. We do know that he's in the best possible hands and has a very good chance of doing so. So I would just like to record on behalf of Sheikh Fahad and Melissa, all the Qatar racing team and everybody here at Tween Hills, our heartfelt gratitude to everybody in Cambridge from us here in England. Thank you.